If you're someone who's been thinking about making the switch to electric vehicles, but maybe you're a little apprehensive about doing so because of things you've heard, well, stick around because I'm going to talk to you about the results of an annual survey of global EV owners, and they're going to give you some information that might make you feel a little more comfortable about making the switch. I want to talk to you about the results of a survey that was done by the Global Electric Vehicle Alliance. It's essentially an umbrella organization that's made up of 64 different EV associations from 38 different countries, and it's made up of 336,000 members. So every year they polled with an annual survey, getting their feel and their thoughts on what the experience has been like. And in the 2024 survey, which the results have just been published, over 23,000 members in 18 countries took part, and the end results have got some really compelling evidence to say it's not so bad at all to make that switch. So the results really are going to be interesting because they tell a different story from what you might be hearing online as to, oh, there's range anxiety or the experience or it's too expensive. And here are some of the key takeaways that tell a really different story compared to what you might be hearing. When asked if they were satisfied with their experience of being an EV driver, a full 97% said that they were either satisfied or very satisfied. And second to that, when asked if they had to replace their EV tomorrow, 92% of them would purchase another EV, while 4% said they would buy a plug-in hybrid. But perhaps more importantly, only 1% said they would ever return to a gas-powered vehicle. That's right, just 1% said they'd go back. This is a huge takeaway because it really shows that once you make that switch, once your mind decides we're going to go there and you actually get in and start driving it, it really seems that the satisfaction level is very high and you're not going to go back to gas. Now, what was it that made them satisfied? Because the survey looked a little bit deeper into it. And it said that when asked from a list of options as to why they chose to buy an EV and they were given a list and they could pick as many as two of them, the top response overall was actually lower operating costs, even more than the fact that this was considered to be better for the environment. So really it's about a money factor. It costs less to operate. The survey also revealed that a big key to satisfaction about being an EV driver came from the fact that they thought differently about the overall experience. In other words, when you're driving an EV, it's not quite like driving gas. And if you adjust the way you think, you're going to be quite happy. What does that mean? Well, a large majority of drivers acknowledge that when taking a long trip in an EV, it does require more planning than, say, someone who is driving gas vehicles or diesel powered. And there still are some lingering concerns, of course. They did note in the survey about the availability and reliability of fast chargers with views on this being influenced largely based upon which of the countries that they were in of those who took part. Range anxiety, it seems, was highest among EV owners in India and Brazil in this survey, while those from France, Switzerland and Germany were least likely to be concerned. Here in North America, both the US and Canada figured somewhere in the middle in terms of whether it was a big disruptive factor. Another thing that's really come out of this survey is still there are some areas to go with regards to charging and specifically how you pay for it. Seamless payment options were really an issue as 81% of the respondents either strongly agreed or agreed that chargers should be able to take payments directly from a bank card instead of having to download an app and various payment systems overall. So simplicity is really a big plus. Some respondents did mention that their concerns about the reliability or availability of fast chargers was something they considered as part of their planning. But despite all of this, another telling sign is that when they asked if they experienced any disadvantages of having an EV, and there was again a list where they could pick up to three options, the largest response by far was that they really saw no disadvantages at all. So even though it's not perfect and the industry is growing and evolving, most people said there really weren't any disadvantages, just ways of doing things differently about being an EV owner. So what do we make of these results? Well, from my view, it really says that a lot of the fears you may have are really just that they're in your head. We sometimes, because of it being different or unclear, or it's something that's new, you may have some doubts. But if you ask the people who are actually driving an EV right now, who've gone through that mental hurdle and have made the switch, they really are happy. And this is despite the fact that we're still somewhat new in the overall adoption curve. The fact of the matter is, if you could buy an EV today and you still maybe had some doubts about charging or range or sort of infrastructure, and if you're managing to do it well now, just like most of these survey respondents says around the world, this is really the worst it's gonna be because we're investing millions or billions of dollars around the world to get that infrastructure better, to bring prices down overall. So if 97% of people are happy today from those who own it out of 23,000 in 18 different countries who said so, then really, is it really a big issue for you? Make the switch. 
So what do you think about these results? Is it enough to make you take that switch? Or do you agree? If you're an EV owner, do you agree with these results or the findings overall? Let me know in a comment. And if you like this video, share it with others. If you're not a subscriber to the Novak Report, please consider doing so. And if you are a subscriber, make sure you're ringing the bell so that you get notified every time I upload something new. I hope you found this helpful. I'll continue to bring more of these types of videos. But for now, I'm Eric Novak. Thanks for watching.